end. I hope you guys are finding this stuff useful. Um, it's all stuff I use, so I know it's useful because I use it. Thus, by definition, it's useful. But I hope for you guys, for your music taste, genre, style, or just for your free time, you're finding it useful, all right? And helpful. That's the idea. Right now, we're going to take a look at how to layer drums, all right? Now, you get these WAV files. You pull them off samples. They're thin. Go and listen to any hip-hop, any hip-hop record that's actually successful. Then go and listen to your boys' beats or the internet beat. One thing you're going to notice is the drums. The drums. That, that is hip-hop. It's, it's, even the rapper, he's using his mouth as a drum more than a melodic, melodic instrument. It's all about the drums. Big, fat drums are going to be layered up. We're going to stack them on top of each other like Jenga, all right? So, well, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty clear analogy. How do you do that? There's a lot of different ways to do it. I'm going to show you how you probably do it if you already know how to do it and a quicker way to do it. All right. I have two snares I like. And I want them to play together. I select one, draw it in, select two, draw it in. And here we go. You could sound here it sounds a lot fatter than just one. Listen to the difference. All right. Now that obviously sounds better, but we can do this easier than just layering them up because that can be kind of time consuming. If we hit Tab, we flip around our rack and we have the back of our redrum machine. If I go to our first drum, gate out one, and put it here into gate out, or connected to gate out one, it's the gate in two, flip it around, watch what happens when I hit play. Aha, uh -huh, they're both triggered. Let's look at a new pattern, and I'm only painting for drum one. They're both playing, guys. Bam! Yeah. Easy. Now, I know it seems kind of cheesy or whatever, but it's going to save you a lot of time. Um, it's going to save you a lot of hassle, too. Look, with just one sequencer, just one loop like this, it's not a very big deal. But let's say you're making eight different patterns, drums, fills, choruses, bridges, intros. You see A, B, C, D, blank sets. Guys, you have the possibility for 32 different patterns, all right? So this in the long run can be very, very helpful. Well, we look a little limited to just one CV as well. That's not necessarily true because we can create A, let's hit shift so it doesn't wire, utilities, a CV merger and splitter. All right, and let's bring our CV down here and split it. Now we can wire it to two in and click and drag up to three in. And now, presto changeo, triggers all three. All right, take some time, organize your drum sounds. I know maybe at first it feels tedious, make some presets, get it done. But in the long run, guys, if you spend more time on your drums and really, really pay attention to them, your music's going to be better served for it. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Do it. I want to hear some results, some video responses. I want some feedback. Let me know. I hope all is all well out there in YouTube land. And until the next time.